Well, there are many, many breeds out there that are not utilized commonly in agriculture. We're not saying that one breed is better than the other, but most people don't know that our agriculture has become very much a monoculture. You know, if you have a beef cow, it's probably an Angus. If you have a dairy cow, it's 80, 85% of them are Holstein. If you have a meat chicken, it's a Cornish cross. And most people don't know that our production has become really, really narrow in terms of the animals that we use. So heritage breed animals are, for the most part, breeds that a lot of them have history to them. A lot of them have, you know, thousands of years of history that are a part of what, what has gone into making these animals. A lot of them are, are, have different characteristics than the average agricultural animal. So they might have uh, pest resistance that's um, been developed over time in a certain place. For instance, the Texas longhorn is an animal that is sort of an amalgamation of different influences, but it came over from the Spanish, I believe, did it not? Uh, yeah, yes. The Spanish cattle. So they came to Florida and then they dispersed from there. Some went, uh, they were doing beef production in Hispaniola. Anyway, this applies to all the different, if it's a chicken or a cow or a pig, there are animals that had developed over thousands of years that are going extinct because they're not commonly used in production. Just to add to that, I don't think um, a lot of people realize that even the world's 8,000 livestock breeds that we have out there, 21% of them are in danger of extinction. And every time we lose one of those animals, it's gone, and we've lost that biodiversity. The best I could sum it up is maybe like what's happening right now in the Amazon. You know, they say that is the lungs of the world. And if it's burning up, are we going to be able to breed? There might be something one of these animals can contribute that we don't know right now that we might need in the future. Yeah, it's in our self-interest to keep these things alive because we're in such a rapidly changing climate and economic climate as well that you never know, you can't really predict which kind of components are gonna be necessary in the future. For full conversations and future content, please subscribe at offthegridbiz.com.